Let's look at erasing a background where we've got a good block of colour to work with. This is a photo of Sydney Tower against a nice blue sky. Photoshop has an eraser and I can erase according to different brush sizes and hardness just to show you what hardness means. A hardness of 100% erases like that but if I soften the hardness you can see the edge isn't as hard. I'll undo that. I don't ever want to try and erase a background using this because it's very easy to do that. And I can't get that back. So instead of using the eraser, we're going to use the magic eraser. Now the magic eraser works like this. I have a certain tolerance. When I click here, Photoshop is saying everything it's just selected is within a tolerance of 32. I'll undo that and I'll make that 50. I'll click in the same spot and you can see more has been selected. I'll undo that. If I make it a tolerance of 70, even more has been selected. Now, the problem I have is that in amongst all of these wires, the cables that hold up Centerpoint Tower, I'd have to get in there and use my magic eraser because it will only erase to where there's a line. And even then it does it badly because there's a bit of blue in these lines. Control zero and I'll undo everything I've done. So I'm going to bring this back to 32. 32 is a default. And instead of doing it individually, I'm going to click on this contiguous. So I'm going to say I don't want to erase things contiguously. When I click here, it's going to pick up a tolerance of 32 for whatever colour that is and erase everything to within a, a 32, a tolerance of 32 for that colour blue. Now I'm going to zoom in on these cables this time and now I'm going to use my magic eraser here and you can see what a difference contiguous or non-contiguous makes. Huge difference. Clicking here, I'll zoom out so we can see what's going on. Hold the Alt key down. And you can see there, I've taken the blue out of the sky. Just have a look and see what's happening here. Yeah, there those cable stays. That's okay. Zoom back out. Now why do I want to do something like that? Well, let's open another photo. And I've got a photo of some lightning. We know how to take this lightning and pop it on the same layer as this. I would ideally like this lightning, I don't really need to worry about whether it's going to be in proportion or not, I would like this lightning, however, to be behind my center point picture. And that way, all of this area here with no pixel information will show this. So if I put this layer here above there, you can see the effect that that's made. All of that area that has no pixel information is able to reveal that lightning from behind.
I could put any picture behind there and dramatically change the composition of that picture.